You're a mess. Hi, it's Tuesday. You're watching Tasty Tuesday. Show us Tuesday. I try to make something tasty. Sometimes it works. Tasty Tuesday got a glow up. <laughs> this is looking pretty sexy now. Also, um, excuse me for the acoustics in here. We don't have a kitchen rug yet. We don't have all of our things. I ordered a kitchen island that will be here. We're gonna get really fancy. But right now, this is this is what we got. This is what we're working with. But I wanted to put up a Tasty Tuesday to welcome the new kitchen. And I thought, what better way to christen a Tasty Tuesday kitchen than with some avocados and coconuts? Am I right? Slap it high. Uh, just in case. You were confused. Yes, you did click on the right channel. We're here. We're all here. So I found a recipe for avocado coconut ice cream. And I thought that sounded pretty nice. Cream. Oh. Rusty start. Great. It sounds really easy to make. Almost suspiciously easy to make. So hopefully it tastes good. But if not, I will let you know immediately. And we will turn this avocado ice cream into an avocado margarita and make a party out of it. Okay? Let's make this dish. Step one. I changed the camera angle because I realized that we we don't even need the stove today. We just need a blender and an ice cream maker. Excuse me, sir, please show yourself. A blender and an ice cream maker. So step one, we're gonna take two Haas avocados. Hopefully you has them. <laughs> wow, we're doing great. We're gonna cut them lengthwise and scoop out the pit. Like they need to tell me how to cut an avocado. You know what I'm saying? Oh my God, this is a perfect avocado. How do you avocado do that? Come on. We got it. Now we're just gonna take a spoon and scoop out the flesh of your avocado. I don't know who's responsible for naming parts of fruits, but calling it flesh has never made me feel comfortable. We don't even call like animal meat flesh. Like when you're at a steakhouse, you're not like, how do you want your flesh cooked? I'm sorry, avocado flesh. Ugh. Oh no, I got a little stem thing in there. This is not good. Great start. And again. Yes, more flesh. Did you miss me? Look, another angle. How cool, you can just see all of my kitchen. We're having a good time. More more flesh uh, to be inserted into this blender. Next, we're gonna add one can of full fat coconut milk. Yes, we can add it. You know what granite countertops are good for? <laughs> Getting them all covered in coconut milk, yeah. Different kitchen, same messy person in it. You know what I do like about black ovens is it hides a lot of my uncleanliness. Score, we all win, everyone wins, which means everyone kind of loses too. Anyway, a can of coconut milk, got it. Are you having fun yet? Then, if you want to add heavy cream, add a half a cup of that. If you're avoiding dairy or you're lactose intolerant or you know you just maybe like coconut more than dairy cream, you could add another half cup of coconut milk. Hey, options. It also makes it so that you don't have to buy as many ingredients, which I like. Oh wow, that's so much more than half a cup. Whatever. Then we're gonna put three fourths a cup of granulated sugar in, uh, which every time I've made ice cream in the past, usually you have to melt this into a liquid form, but this is saying not to. I'm gonna try the recipe as is. I'm not gonna criticize it yet, but I mean, I feel like this should be made into a simple syrup. My two cents. Now we're gonna blend this on low until completely smooth. Completely. That's gonna take about two minutes. Ready for this? I'll be back. So our mixture is pretty smooth now and I just tasted some and I didn't taste any granules of sugar. So I think just doing it for two minutes, two full minutes, like melts them. I, I don't know, something sciencey. Anyway, while you were gone, I zested a lime and I don't know if I did it right, but I did my zest. <laughs> Welcome back. We're gonna take a teaspoon, which I don't feel like measuring shit right now, so I'm just gonna pretend that's a teaspoon. It's probably more like a tablespoon, but shh. So a teaspoon of zest and then a tablespoon of lime juice. Holy shit. A tablespoon of lime juice. There's so, so many issues in here. I feel like that's like half a lime. We don't wanna measure things. Half the battle of cooking in a new kitchen is trying to remember where you put all the things. I don't wanna find a tablespoon. Why use a tablespoon when you got your eyeballs? Makes so much sense. We're just gonna mix that in by hand. Why don't we blend it in? I don't know. I didn't come up with this recipe, but they said to mix it by hand. Stir it in. Wow, that is one smooth avocado coconut mixture. I put way too many limes, but you know what limes are good for? Margaritas. We're gonna have a party. Next, it says to transfer the mixture to an ice cream maker and use the manufacturer's instructions for making this ice cream. Guess what? I don't know where the manufacturer's instructions are for this ice cream maker. I haven't made ice cream in over a year. I'm in a new kitchen. I can't even find my vitamins. Here's how I think it goes. This has been in the freezer. I already think I'm doing a pretty good job. Then I put this in here. Then we put this in here. Yeah? I don't remember. 
shoulder face towards you like a nice person. Kevin, it's so hard right now. Guess that's gonna be the flavor of our ice cream. Whoa, it already turned into ice cream on the side. Damn, you go too fast. That's what she said. Oh my gosh. And then there's this thing and I think it goes in here. Yes, yes, yes. And then this go like goes, yeah, okay. That looks like it fit pretty nicely. And then, you're a mess. Don't mind me, just fingering my ice cream maker. Oh, there we go. Excuse me, sir, ma'am. Then we're gonna turn it on to on. Killing it, killing it, killing it, killing it, killing it. And now I think it just does that for like 15 minutes. We look good doing the work. I'll keep you updated. So our ice cream is pretty thick now. I lost track of how long it was churning, but I think it's a good amount of time that it was churning. I was making this not a margarita, but an avocado latte, which is something that I just made up. And you know what? I am sticking to it. I approve. I approve of this. Avocado, lime juice, agave, a lot of Malibu. Oh, and some ice. Boom. Anyway, back to this. It is pretty thick. T H I C C. I'm gonna show you how thick it is. Damn, girl, you look good. Now the recipe says to let it freeze for two hours before consuming. You know what doesn't have to wait two hours before consuming? But you know, I feel you. Okay, we'll do it. So I'm just gonna transfer this into another vessel because that seems appropriate. Hopefully I'm avocado doing this right. Please, please work, please work. I wanna lick this so bad, but I won't because you're watching me. Don't look. Okay, that's it, that's all I'm gonna do. Okay, that's totally it. Stop watching this. Oh my god, this is so good. Do you really need to wait two hours? If you like soft serve ice cream, you don't have to wait. It's pretty good right now. I'm gonna put this in the freezer now for two hours and try to contain my excitement for the ice cream that is to come. However, I don't think I have to contain it that hard because like along the sides of the ice cream maker is the consistency of ice cream that dreams are made out of. Oh my goodness, this is so good. But I'll wait, I'll wait two hours. See you in two hours. Hello, it's been two hours and we are ready to have some motherfucking ice cream in this bitch. I'm so sorry you're not a bitch. I hope this is hard enough. <laughs> That's what she said. It feels not that hard. It's also I'm gonna get a taste of Tuesday, man, and we're gonna taste our first dish in this kitchen with avocados and coconut. BRB. Oh damn, oh damn, oh damn. Wow, the lighting in here is so much better. This looks pretty good. Okay, Tasty Tuesday guy. Yeah. Are you ready? I'm ready. To try some avocado coconut ice cream. Water. All right, Tasty Tuesday guy. Avocado coconut ice cream? Yeah. Dang. Coconut milk. Wow. How that is. That's good. Yeah. That's really good. It's creamy. Mm -hmm. I'm not a big avocado guy. But, but can you taste the avocado? Oh, for sure. Oh, you can? Yeah, but it tastes good. I don't taste any avocado. It's got like a, it's like when you have candied watermelon instead of just watermelon. Like a totally different taste. Huh. Like it, it, tastes, tastes it tastes more like limey to me. Like lime, like limey coconut and the avocado feels like it was yeah, it's like, the consistency. It's like a muted lime. A muted lime. Thank Ooh. you. Isn't that cool? Way to describe like things. Like that. Yeah, you sound like a freaking food. Critic. Thank you. I feel like one. Good job. I am a food critic. Are you happy in this kitchen? Yeah, this is tight, huh? Ladies? Yeah, I like it. Yes. It's much better than our old kitchen. Same like, fridge though, you know what I'm saying? Look how cool it is. Look how cool this fridge is. It's Whoa. It's all about the way you um, describe you something. Present you it. present it. Like a salesman. This fridge. Let me tell you something about this fridge. It's pretty dirty, it was but handmade um, by eco-friendly um, just buzzwords. Just all yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's, it's got power um, saver in it. It's an energy um, plus unit, which is great. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, I think that just means greenhouse. It drains, um, I think it just means it drains a lot of energy. It's greenhouse. It's in the greens house. It's in the greens house. So there, there you go. go. There you have it. All right. Well, hope you enjoyed this tasty Tuesday in the kitchen. I know I did. And uh, you weren't even here. The section that I was in, I enjoyed. All right. A muted. What did you say? A muted lime. A muted lime. You should make it. <laughs> Subscribe to don't miss any of this and I will see you next time. Also, come back on Thursdays. I'm probably going to be doing like DIYs and DUIs. You're going to be doing DUIs? DUIs. DUI Thursdays. DUIs, yeah, like come that. back. Woo! DWI Thursdays.